You just heard is the president of the United States just lying right there. It's fascinating because he's lying about something that we all witnessed just yesterday of him talking to his own coronavirus task force about doing research into injecting bleach disinfectants into people, somehow cleaning them from the inside because disinfectant works on tabletops and things like that. Now the president is claiming he was speaking sarcastically to reporters, sarcastically suggesting that there was no sarcasm. So what you just heard there was Anderson Cooper on CNN just a little bit ago, basically calling Donald Trump, the president of the United States, a liar. And he was 100% correct to do so. Donald Trump yesterday afternoon did a press conference as he does basically every day. And during that press conference, he basically suggested multiple treatments for this current health crisis, but none of them would work. And indeed, many of them would cause people severe, long lasting harm, if not far worse. One of Trump's suggestions was that you ingest things like Lysol or bleach or other disinfectants with Trump suggesting that because, you know, these chemicals can be used to clean surfaces, you can take a Lysol wipe and wipe down your counter or wipe down your table or wipe down, you know, a box that got shipped to you, then, you know, ergo, you can ingest it and it would help solve this current health crisis because it would clean up the insides. That if you could somehow inject it or ingest it into the lungs, then it would clear out the lungs and that people would be able to breathe better and you would see far fewer people lose their lives. This was an insane claim backed up by not a lick of medical science and Donald Trump, if at best he was just musing, should realize that as president of the United States, when he even muses, people will follow what he says and people will do what he says. Maybe not a lot of people, but some people, and it will cost lives. Simple as that. And Donald Trump sort of realized that what he did was wrong, if only after the fact. And now Trump, other Republicans, right wing sources like Breitbart and so many others are trying to suggest that Trump was joking around, that he was being sarcastic, that people are willfully misinterpreting what he said. I'm asking a question sarcastically to reporters like you just to see what would happen. Now, disinfectant for doing this, maybe on the hands would work. And I was asking the question of the gentleman who was there yesterday, Bill, because when they say that something will last three or four hours or six hours, but if the sun is out or if they use disinfectant, it goes away in less than a minute. Did you hear about this yesterday? But I was asking a sarcastic and a very sarcastic question to the reporters in the room. But I don't think any reasonable person, any rational person, any person thinking outside of a very extreme political bias could think that Donald Trump was being sarcastic. That was a man yesterday who doesn't understand basic medical science and yet talks like he does. And that gets him into trouble. I understand that Trump is often accompanied by Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burks, other professionals who often will correct his claims or will give context to his claims. But I think it's very telling that unlike some other leaders at the state level and in other countries, that Donald Trump likes to take direct questions and give direct answers and commentary regarding strictly medical questions. Here in Canada, many of our provincial leaders, of course, many of our federal leaders as well, will take questions and give commentary on the broad effort to flatten the curve and on the broad effort to ensure the economy survives and what the plans are for when this crisis is over, when we defeat it. But they will almost never take questions directly related to medical concerns. They almost always hand that fully off to somebody like Dr. Fauci, their analog, whether it's Bonnie Henry in BC, whether it's Dr. Tam here federally in Canada, they hand that off. In some cases, those press conferences are fully separate from the premier's and prime minister's press conferences. That's how it works because the medical scientists, ultimately, they have a set of information 
and experience and expertise that goes beyond what the president or a governor or a premier or a prime minister has in this context. And it's not about just saying, hey, I wonder, maybe if we inject bleach, maybe if we consume Lysol, maybe that'll clean you up on the inside, get you all fresh and shiny on the inside. Just saying that as amusing is so so, so dangerous. And Trump realizes that because he's walking it back. If Trump really honestly believed what he did wasn't a big deal, there would be no walking back. There would be no walking back on this idea that he said what he said. And I think it's very refreshing to see CNN call out the president for being a liar. That L word is too seldom used in mainstream media. The L word should not be recklessly used, but neither should it be protected overzealously. What I mean by that is don't call somebody a liar if they're not a liar, but don't bend over backwards to not call politicians liars when they're damn well lying. And Donald Trump is a prodigious liar about this and about other issues. And I think at this crucial moment, we need the media to call the president a liar. When he lies about who's at fault for this crisis, when he lies about his efforts early on, when he lies about the fact that, you know, you can ingest certain things and then backtracks that by saying, I never said that. On any of these factors, the media needs to call him out because people need to realize that one, what the president said was dangerous and they should not do it. And then two, the president did say that and he recommended you do something awful. And that means going Going forward, we have to remember that the president has severe credibility issues whenever he speaks about anything at all related to medical expertise, whether it's about the spread of a particular illness or whether it's about the cure of a particular illness or whether it's about the treatment of a particular illness. The president doesn't know what he's talking about. And what makes a person the most dangerous is when they don't know anything, but they think they do. That's the most dangerous kind of person. Somebody who doesn't know anything and doesn't say anything, they're not that dangerous. They don't know anything. That's fine. You know, they don't pretend to. Somebody who thinks they know stuff but doesn't, and that's Donald Trump on pretty much everything. He's a very dangerous man in this sort of context. So kudos to CNN for pointing this out. Kudos for them for hammering this home, reinforcing it. I just really hope we continue to see this because one of the key errors of the 2016 campaign, the reason Trump became president, or at least one of the big reasons, was that the media just covered him passively. They showed his events, but they rarely criticized him. They rarely cut in to say the president, or at least this presidential candidate, is lying to you. This presidential candidate is saying something false, and we need to correct that. But now they're starting to realize that you have to cover him more you know, actively, more proactively, more aggressively in a sense, and it's a good thing to see.